One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, go. Hey everybody, this is Matt. How are you guys doing? Uh, tonight I'm going to show you uh, one of the bases that is in the track Night of the Vampire. And that's the melodic dubstep track that I released last week. And a lot of you guys liked it, so I thought I'd show you one of the sounds that I used in the track. And that sound is this one right here. Okay, so as you can tell, it's a very uh, it's a very typical sound in a lot of the modern dubstep tracks. Um, it's not quite a wobble, but it's a very format sound that is very long, and it progresses throughout the notes, and it makes it very dynamic. And that instrument is this one right here. I named it M Talk. I actually constructed it from scratch, and I'm going to basically. Um, select new sound here to reset everything and I'm going to build this uh, synth from scratch for you guys okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set oscillator 1 to this synth right here which is called modern talking and I'm going to bet you that um, I'm probably a lot of modern uh, dubstep tracks use this exact setting on oscillators to basically make their formant sounds. It's um, it's a very intense and a very useful progression of waves throughout the uh, position knob here. And uh, I did that as well. So we're going to actually select a wet position down to um, almost nothing. Then we're also going to set our intensity almost down to zero. And then we're going to change this little um, uh, uh, parameter here from spectrum down to bend minus. And then we are also going to bring down the pitch to negative 24 as well. And that will bring our synthesizer exactly where we need it. We're going to also activate oscillator 2. And then we are going to change our waves, waveform to deep throat in this digital hybrid thing. Um, we're going to keep our parameter here at spectrum. We're also going to bring our wave position almost all the way down, except we are going to bring our intensity up. And we are also going to bring this down to uh, 24 as well. And then... Uh, we are going to bring the amplitude on uh, both of these down by a little bit. We're going to activate oscillator 3, and then we are going to change that oscillator from what it is right now to a sine square, and then bring the wave position all the way to the left. And then the intensity goes all the way up, and then uh, we leave our uh, amplitude all the way up, but we bring our pitch all the way down to 24 steps again. Okay. And that's pretty much it for the oscillators, except we need to send oscillator 1 to filter 1, oscillator 2 to filter 1 as well, and oscillator 3 to filter 2. Basically, these are routing to these right here, and um, this is our sub base um, for when we don't want to create a, se a separate sub base to back uh, this uh, instrument up. Okay, so basically we've got that set up and then we're going to go ahead and set up our filter. Uh, once again, we're going for a par parallel filter here and then we are going to bring the volume of our second filter all the way up and bring our mix almost directly between mix one and mix two. And then our first filter we're going to set to scream with our cutoff to the 3 o'clock position, our scream to the 3, three o'clock uh, position as well, and resonance, uh, resonance to about the 10 or 11 o'clock position, position right here. Um, and then for filter 2, we go to low pass 4 with a cutoff uh, frequency just above 10 o'clock here. And our resonance, uh, we basically keep the same. Okay, and just to show you what it sounds like right now, we're going to hit play. Okay, and you, you can already tell that it sounds very harsh, but it lacks a lot of the stereo inputs and basically 
the uh, automation that makes everything more dynamic. And we're going to get that to, to that a little bit later. But before we do that, we're going to basically uh, set up our effects. The only thing we've done for our effects basically is hit up this course in, in uh, Ensemble. And basically what I use that for is basically to um, affect the stereo feel just a little bit more. Um, and we'll bring all these down except for the dry wet and that should like help things out a little bit. And for the other uh, thing that we bring up, it, we're going to bring up the the noise by just a little bit. And basically the noise generator helps with a lot of the high end stuff. It brings a little bit more bite into the mix without actually hurting the ears. You don't want this too much, obviously. You want it to be, you want to use this very sparingly, sparingly so you so you don't like alienate somebody's ears by uh, pushing a whole bunch of treble on it. And then we have a little bit of feedback here. I'm not sure what exactly it does. Uh, I tried a lot of feedback uh, initially, and then I just kind of dialed it back uh, to just a little bit. With insert one, we're going to select a parabolic shaper. And then we are going to set the dry wet mix to about 11 o'clock here, and then the drive to about one or two o'clock right here. Uh, one of the disadvantages of Massive is there there seems to be no hard numbers, and so I I have to try and make this uh, have make sense in, in terms of visualization, and so I've used like a clock to kind of utilize these knobs. So, all right, so on to the voicing, and you guys all know this section. This is where we handle a lot of the stereo uh, of the instrument that we're trying to create. Um, in this one, the unisono is going to be brought all the way up to four, like always. We're going to turn all of these on and bring the high end of the pitch cutoff down to 0.1. And unlike the previous track that I the previous instrument that I, I made for you, we're only going to utilize just a little bit of that pitch cutoff. And with the wavetable, we are only going to utilize just a little bit of that. But unlike the last synthesizer that I that I constructed for you, we're going to utilize quite a bit of the stereo field. So you have a very wide base that you you're dealing with here. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the sound is in both of your your headphones if you're you're listening to this on headphones. And then, once you got that, you're pretty much ready to uh, utilize the the uh, oscillators, the LFOs, to basically make all of the automation happen with this instrument. And for that, we're going to use uh, LFO5, which is right here. We're going to uh, sync it up and bring the bottom all the way down to 1. And then the top all the way to 3. We're going to set our X fade curve to 1. We're going to keep our restart here as well. So this waveform basically restarts every time you hit a note. But we're going to actually change our, our curve here. And we're going to... Uh, select curve fall one here and as you can see it's basically a falling curve that um, uh, will help a lot in basically maintaining the format that you want to hear as you hit the note so it's going to be basically the same every time you hit that note but uh, in st to quicken it along that format though we're going to move the waveform by just a little bit here and usually we don't deal too long in the note that we go back to this this rising edge right here. Okay, so once we've got that done, we're going to go back to our oscillators and we are going to set up the wave positions here. So we're going to drag LFO5 to the wave position on oscillator 1, also the intensity here as well. And then we're going to drag it all the way to the wave position on L uh, oscillator 2 as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to 
basically bring up the intensity of the LFO almost all the way up here. And uh, we are going to uh, kind of reverse the, intens the ten intensity. Um, and also on oscillator two, we're going to bring up uh, the LFO to just around to about the two o'clock position on the green side of this LFO. And that is pretty much it, I think. Let me try and check it. I'll play it for you. And that's pretty that's pretty much the sound, um, the basic sound that I made for the track. And um, there are a couple of other things that I, I did, though, is once I recorded the track, I basically brought everything down and uh, EQ'd it a little bit and made sure that the, there was a little bit more drive to it. I used a Faturator um, uh, uh, distortion uh, uh, rack extension. That this I basically bought this, but this has been a, a very great addition to Propeller Head Reason, where I set the drive to 68%, the fuzz to 73%, the color to 27% and the mix all the way up and then the stereo field to 34.3% and um, basically at this point you're playing around with the equalization and um, you're basically EQing out some of the uh, um, the harmonics here to basically make more room for the mix and then compressing it uh, just basically playing around with basic um, instrument that you get from Massive and then make your make your own sound with it. So that's a pretty simple instru instrument to make. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys next time with another one.